This is Crimson with another episode of Tales from the Totes, the riveting infomercial about the underground merch game. Um, going over tonight some of the uh, twisted part two of X amount. Uh, mainly, let me do a couple twisted shirts, talk about them, some things I thought were cool in the, a few years ago, so I bought them. I don't buy a ton of new merch unless it's Riddle Box or Hollow Wicked uh, or something that strikes my fancy. So, um, without further ado, we'll get into the first shirt, which is um, I Want to Be Batman. It's a uh, it's on a Gildan Ultra Cotton tag with, you know, Gildan has all these new, you know, all these government regulations, all these new um, take care of and what was used in it and materials and everything else. But this is just, a, you know, Jamie Madrox in his Batman outfit. And then Batman, over the years, um, in films, films, TV shows, but he was actually in a film too. So, you know, we got the 63, the 90 Keaton, um, looks like some of the newer ones. So, uh, you know, the back has the twisted, you know, Batman logo in the classic blue, yellow, and black, basically, with the color of the shirt. Um, he sold these for a limited amount of time. Uh, well, it was a cool shirt, so I bought it. And then the mirror of that is the Laughing Like a Lunatic shirt. You know, Monoxide as the Joker, and then the Joker over the years in film. Um, you know, I'm a big Joker fan. Uh, same tag. But on the back we have uh, the purple and green favorite colors, purple and green, said, always been a Joker fan, Riddle Box fan, hey, I had to get this shirt, well, I had to get the Batman too, gotta have the pair, I actually bought two set, because uh, I was thinking that I was gonna wear, you know, one set, and then have the other set to be minty if I ever, you know, tore and ripped them, got them dirty, um, I don't think I've ever wore either set, so unworn, unwashed, I got so many shirts I can't wear them all. I mean, it'd probably take me two years to wear them. You know, years back I had six to seven hundred shirts, and then I sold a couple hundred to somebody, bought a house, and then uh, I think I still started collecting more, and I got those two hundred plus some more back. Um, I had three hundred and something jerseys. 100 crew jerseys, and then it just got to be too much. Um, just started selling my collection off over the years. Kept Brita Box, kept Hollow Wicked, um, kept gathering crew shirts, and most of my prototypes. Um, yeah, one day I'll get into prototypes. Hollow Wicked stuff will be later in the year. Um, maybe after the gathering, I'll get into Hollow Wicked stuff. Maybe do. 10 shirts or so, or maybe I'll do, you know, 96 to 98, you know, the classic Hollow Wicked stuff, and then 99 to 2004, maybe do like a three to five year chunk, maybe three years, and then we'll do 99, 2000, 2001, do uh, like three year chunks, um, leading up to Hollow Wicked. You know, they might be shorter, a couple of them. A couple years when we had like a regular shirt and a Detroit shirt. So there could be just six shirts in there. Then we get to years like 2014 where we had 20 shirts, 18 shirts, 17 shirts. I don't know, maybe 17. Whoop, whoop. Um, but yeah, um, have some other things planned. I'm going to expand a couple other episodes into other things that are in the totes and shoe boxes. You know, besides shirts, um, maybe I'll get into jackets, um, jerseys, hoodies, um, 
hats. Don't have many bandanas. Beanies. I got a bunch of beanies. Um, maybe get into them. We do have some promo stuff. And some other odds and ends, just weird things. So, you know, future episodes, we we'll get into that. Um, we're going to try and expand our channel, too. Um, I'm going to get into maybe some of my other hobbies besides the clowns. Um, you know, I do hero clicks, maybe I do tales from the tackle boxes, because a lot of our, um, it's kind of tales from the totes, too, <laughs> because I, a lot of my uh, hero clicks are in totes, the shoebox size totes, um, but they're in tackle boxes as well. So it'll be about gaming, um, maybe go over my dice. I've got thousands of dice, maybe into magic. I don't know. We're going to start streaming more some of our games. If I can figure out how to stream my Hearthstone. Um, I've only been doing Ladder and Hearthstone with Whizbang or the Evil decks. So totally random, um, you know, decks. I've only been climbing the ladder that. I went from 25 to like 15, 16. Yeah, 16. Didn't make it to 15, but hopefully. And sorry to bore you with other stuff, but I'll get back to the shirts. Here's a Twisted Monster Monday Classic Monsters Edition. So we got the old school monsters, you know, Invisible Man, Monster from the Black Lagoon, uh, Abel Lugosi, Boris Karloff, um, some classic, classic monsters, Frankenstein's Monster, Bride of Frankenstein, you know, Werewolf, Mummy, um, I think what, the alien from Plan 9 from Outer Space, um, you know, and then, you know, Jamie and Paul and all their monstrous glory. This one is on a Gildan Ultra Cotton, uh, like a lot of their shirts are. Is it just twisted Monster Monday? Okay, so that kind of segues into Twisted Super Saturday Classic Heroes Edition. All the classic heroes from the 70s and 80s that you know and love. Well, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Green Hornet, Hulk. You know, Spider-Man, Thor, Shazam, Captain America, uh, Batgirl, uh, Swamp Thing, we got Bruce Lee, um, and we have uh, Superman, Batman and Robin, um, and then Batman and Robin, underneath Batman and Robin, then Wonder Woman, um, Howard the Duck, how can I forget Howard? Um, used to watch the Hulk all the time, watch Green Hornet, Swamp Thing, Captain America, I didn't watch Shazam too much, I watched Wonder Woman, of course Batman, um, Superman show was okay, I don't, I think it's Christopher Reeve, so I don't think it was the one they had on TV, there was a Superman that was on TV that wasn't that great, Thor was not good, um, he was in the I think he was on Hulk. I think he might have been a Captain America episode. But uh, classic heroes, um, you know. I think they only sold this on Saturday. And uh, if you missed it, it was they sold it um, like made to order. And if you missed it, you missed it. Okay, so then um, we'll go to the other Super Saturday. It's Twisted Super Saturday with all kinds of heroes. I mean, just cram-packed full of, you know, heroes that you know and love. Um, you know, Ben Grimm, Batman, the Penguin and Venom. I guess they're anti-hero heroes. Captain Planet, uh, Toxic Avenger, good old Toxie. We got Super Mario, some South Park guy, which I don't know. How do you South Park fan? Jamie Madrox, Multiple Man, Green Lantern, you know, just all kinds of superheroes. This shirt was, I think, sold one day. I think at the gathering, maybe. 
and then you could get it the week after the gathering I think they sold it and then that was it and then last but not least and that's on a Gilton heavy cotton tearaway tag this is the twisted super Saturday villain edition one of my favorites you know, we have Batman and Robin, but, you know, Jamie and Paul, because I guess they're villainous Batman and Robin. Magneto, Apocalypse, Skeletor, Mystique, Deathstroke, Harley, Bowser, um, Green Goblin, Carnage, Catwoman, um, Scarecrow, uh, Sideshow Bob, Joker, Shredder, and my boy Juggernaut. You know, this is the Villains Edition. This was one day only on a Saturday. They made them to order, and that was it. They were done, and then uh, one time. So that's a few of the limited edition shirts. Um, these episodes might be a little shorter than what I was running. I'm trying to make, make them more bite-sized, focus on a few things. Won't take up too much of your time. Instead of running overly long. Um, almost 10 years. Bang Pow Boom, the promo shirt, the album that marks the return of the Dark Carnival. Anyway, so, um, make the underground raid again. Half of you are dust and don't even know it. Um, hey, step up the game, the underground music, make good stuff, make good merch, people will buy it. Um, Buckshot got that merch game on point. Makes cool jerseys, cool designs. Um, music, I mean, uh, I'm a fan, I'm not a super fan. I loved Underground Avengers. I thought it was great. Um, some of the other Buckshot stuffs okay, um, but I mean, he's got his brand, he's got his merch. He diversifies. He makes limited edition stuff that are worth it when you buy it. Hundred dollars, you get hooked up with a whole bunch of shit. Um, you know, we're going to, on the next episode, I'll be showing some of these. Um, make the underground great again. Um, hat pins, hats. Uh, we're going to have shirts. Um, plus, we're going to have something for the ne- upcoming. Uh, we're going to change it up a little bit. But make the underground great again. Boop times two. Free on Wise Men. We're on Monday nights now. Whatever we go on on Monday nights. Um we work and have kids we're gonna try and set a permanent thing we're gonna try and do more games stream more stuff um have more content for y'all uh this is crimson another episode tales from the totes in the books and hope y'all have a good one whoop whoop